Hey everyone, welcome into the studio for this episode of the Lund University International Podcast. My name is Tom Hacker, I'm an International Communications Officer here at Lund University. And today we're going to take you on an audio tour of campus Helsingborg. And here in the studio, we have a very special guest, a friend of the show who has been on an episode before, Nana. Hi, <laughs> my name is Nana. I'm from Ghana and I'm an alumna of the Strategic Communication Master's Program and I'm happy to be here. Nice. I'm looking forward to taking you around campus Helsingborg. Fantastic. And if you follow Lund University on Instagram, you will have already seen Nana giving an Instagram tour of campus Helsingborg. How did that go? That was actually fun <laughs> and there were so many places to show in Helsingborg. Yeah. Nice, nice, fantastic. And I mean, you're an expert, you live in Helsingborg, you studied there, so mm -hmm. what better person to take us through? So um, perhaps we can get started if we were just imagine ourselves standing outside the main entrance of Campus Helsingborg. You can take it away, Anna. Okay, so Campus Helsingborg was opened in 2021 in a former rubber factory with some modern renovations, of course. About 10% of Lund University students study at this campus, including our English taught master's programs in strategic communication, service management, and energy efficient and environmental building design. Campus Helsingborg conducts boundary crossing interdisciplinary education and research in close collaboration with the numerous local supply facilities, hotels, companies, and the public sector. Fantastic. And Yes, I think it's probably good to remind our listeners as well, how far away from Lund is Helsingborg? Well, give or take is between uh, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the type of train that you take. And the good thing is that there is this way, like this pathway between the train station and campus Helsingborg just for students, which is like about 10 minutes walk with a very nice scenery. Okay, fantastic. And for... Those listeners that aren't aware, Sweden's public transport is very, very well developed, some of the best public transport in the world. So commuting within the southern region of Sweden, Skåne, where we are, is uh, quite common and quite comfortable, I would say. Yeah, we had uh, like half of my class living in Lund, so it was easy to commute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. But you chose to live in Helsingborg and you really liked that experience, yes. as you mentioned on the earlier part. Yeah, I love it there. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so let's go on the next stage of our audio tour. We're going inside the lobby of the main campus Helsingborg building. So here in the entrance of the building, we have a cafeteria where you can buy your lunch and the information desk where you can ask if you need help booking a study room, for example, or have any questions. Fantastic. So that's really good to know that there is a reception and information desk there for international students who might need help with anything like booking a room. Did you use that reception very much as a student? Yes, I did actually. Yes, I did a lot. They are very helpful. That's awesome. That's really, really good to hear. And the next stop, uh, it's commonly referred to very fondly by a lot of uh, students from campus Helsingborg, and that's U2. What's U2? So U2 is just on the second floor. It's just up the stairs from the reception area. And it's this very beautiful study space. It has enough room for uh, you to study with your friends. And it even has a, pia uh, has a piano. That is if you like to play. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. I remember seeing it now when we did the, the Instagram tour. Mm -hmm. uh, so did anyone play that piano? Like, Actually, yes. Okay. Sometimes we'll just be in the cafeteria and you'll hear this beautiful music. Oh, nice. Space. That is, actually, I'm not sure if there are any pianos available anywhere. It's just Helsingborg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's what I'm, I'm really getting a sense of, like a very nice, uh, almost like cozy kind of community vibe at Campus Helsingborg, where people gather in U2 and uh, play piano to each other. Yeah. Yes. I mean, um, there was one time, I think, we did not have a lot of students there, and there were just a couple of us, me and my friends, downstairs, and we just had the piano from upstairs, so we walked up the stairs to see what is going on over here, and there was this guy just there enjoying himself. Nice. Oh, that sounds very, very cozy. And another memory I also have of you two as well is that you can actually see the printed uh, PhD thesis of students 
uh, that have graduated and mm. written those their research. So you can take a look at that as well. Yes. And beside uh, you two, there's quite a few classrooms, right? Yes. Yeah. We we have uh, lecture halls and classrooms at Campus Hills in Bogdia, are very modern and equipped with everything you need to have interactive multimedia lectures and seminars. Oh, nice. Multimedia lectures. That sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although you were doing your, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were doing a lot of your degree during COVID, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, part of it, yeah, for the very first year. Okay, nice. Yeah. And everyone's super happy to be back in the classroom now. <laughs> it's nice well. to see your friends and your colleagues. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the library, it's quite cozy at Campus Helsingborg. Yeah, and what you should know about the library is actually there are computers. So if you should forget your computer, at home, you can just use one there. And in the library, you can find all the books you might need for your studies and a quiet area to study as well. And you can also have some of the books online and there are some you would have to pick from the library. So okay. some, you, you, you can first check online and if you don't find the book you want, you can just go to the library and pick it up. And I remember when I started as an international student and uh, I think it was perhaps a mentor who was taking us around campus and they said, one of the most important things you need to do is find your study spot. Mm -hmm. uh, was your study spot in the library of Campus Hessenburg or in your apartment, student apartment? Uh, well, it was in a department building because every department in Campus Hessenburg has a room or has a building, like a floor of their own. And ours has a master study area for just, I mean, master student, but it's so cozy. It's beautiful. It's like this beautiful lounge where you can study with your friends and you have access with your student card, mm. but you would have to be in the Department of Strategic Communication. The privileges of being a Lund University student or a strategic <laughs> communication student, I should say. Probably. And moving on to our next stop, a department which you know very well, the Strategic Communication Department. Yes. Yes, so that's my department and you can find it on the third floor. So if you're a student in Campus Helsingborg, you should know that you have access to your professors and your department head on one of the floors. So you should just know your department and go there anytime. Nice. Yeah. That's fantastic. And uh, to students coming from countries outside of Scandinavia, because you mentioned your head of department, students sometimes find that Swedish professors are quite accessible. Yes, yeah. yes, it was uh, quite strange because I come from a place where we believe in hierarchy. Okay. So it was quite uh, different to find out I can call my uh, professor by their first name. Like I'll say, hey, how, how are you doing? That was quite strange, <laughs> but it's something you can do. Anytime you face a difficulty, you can write to them or approach them and they're always ready to help. That's really a good thing. Fantastic. Yeah, I guess that's the sort of horizontal uh, structure that people talk about in Swedish society yeah. or... Swedish academia, at least. Yes. yes, and there's no stupid question in the class. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> that's that's really good to know, actually. But the next stop we have on our audio tour of Campus Helsingborg is moving up to a spot which uh, uh, has quite a nice view, I believe. Yeah. Yes. So where is that? The seventh floor. All right. All so right. this place was recently renovated, and it has a very beautiful study area for students. There is a closed one and a very open one, like an open office. And there is a lounge uh, for events and there is a conference room. And right on the balcony, if you ever get tired of being in the study room, you can just sit there and you have the view of the harbor and the sea. Mm. It's, it's beautiful. You should see it. And uh, we have a very ultra modern kitchen where you can warm your food. So you can bring mm. your food and you can stay there, stay there the entire time. Because I know most of us wrote our thesis there, so we spent about four months in that place. So. You're going to yeah. live there. Everyone going to campus <laughs> house, prepare yourself. You're going to be living there. And please tell me more about this situation where you can heat up your own food. I know that that's not uh, in every country. They don't have that situation. Well, we have a couple of microwaves there. Uh, so it's actually a kitchen with a cabinet and a microwave. So... Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just bring your food and you just bring a bottle for your water because you don't really need to bring water. The mm -hmm. tap water is actually safe to drink. Nice. So all you need is just bring your food to the seventh floor and you can warm and then study. Nice. <laughs> That's perfect when you're a student and you're on a budget and maybe you've made up uh, some, food, some food prep for the week. You yeah. just need your lunch boxes. You can study, save money. Exactly. Really, really good idea. And the backyard and courtyard area of mm -hmm. Campus Hessenburg is 
quite beautiful too, I believe. It is. Yeah. And you should see it during the summer because most students like to stay there in between breaks or break from classes. So mm -hmm. students just go to the courtyard and um, right beside the courtyard is this place called Mind Park, which is a okay. co-work space. Uh, but students can still host their events. We have some people from our department having talk shows there. Mm -hmm. Someone had a uh, candle making and arts uh, for therapy, therapy arts. Okay. So if you are into entrepreneurship, you should know that you can meet like-minded people over there. And for my department, we had a media training in uh, that building. So we had everything, like we had the microphones, we had interviews, we had all that stuff. So yeah. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. My program is really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard only good things about the strategic communication program. Thank you. <laughs> and you should also know that there is a gym right there. So mm -hmm. if you download the Mesonat app, you can uh, get students discounts. So if you are just if you just have some free time in between classes, you know you, you can stay fit. Okay, nice. <laughs> stay in shape and work away the stress in the gym. Exactly. So was it uh, a popular destination for people in your class, the gym? Yes, nice. uh, especially during the thesis. <laughs> nice, nice. So what I'm really getting a, a picture of in Campus Housing Board is that everything is compact and close by. You have everything you need. Your, uh, the library mm -hmm. or your classes. You can go upstairs to get beautiful views. Yes. But the kitchen, the gym, it's all literally five minutes from each other. Exactly, and the nice. train station is very close. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And that is also another uh, great aspect of Campus House and Work, mm -hmm. that it's situated right beside the beautiful harbor and city center, as you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. And um, the city of Helsingborg itself is one of the fastest growing cities in Sweden and has over 110,000 inhabitants. The city is only a half hour train ride from Lund. And there is a pathway that you can walk directly, Ooh. like I said before, from the train to the campus in less than five minutes. Ooh, nice. Five <laughs> minutes. That's great. And no matter where you are in Helsingborg, you should know that you are just a stone's throw away from the beach. Mm -hmm. So if you like to feel the sun in between your toes, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I'm just thinking for our future students and everyone that's interested in coming to Sweden, mm -hmm. when they think about Sweden, they might think of snow and cozy red cabins yeah um, but you just mentioned that you're right beside the beach so i'm getting a slightly different picture to the stereotypical image of sweden so maybe people would be interested to know in the summer you can sunbathe and play volleyball and there's food trucks i believe yeah, yeah. there is and the commune actually has a lot of events for students so if you stay in helsingborg you should know that you're going to have a blend of both the working life and the student's life. So mm -hmm. if you like it, then maybe you should choose Helsingborg. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I can see you are a true advocate of the city. And, and I believe also uh, many people have mentioned to me that uh, the city, the commune, uh, the local government in Helsingborg mm -hmm. is super involved in making the city more livable and engaging students. Is that correct? That is true. Yeah. The new students that just came in were invited to the commune to have a, to meet the people there, like to meet the leaders. And they gave a, something like a pitch or something about Helsingborg to them. And it's something that happens every year. Wow, that's yeah. that's very, very unique. I have, uh, I mean, of course, uh, Lund also has a very high level of engagement, but it sounds like uh, Helsingborg is doing an excellent job there as well. It is. There are even job fairs for students. Really? Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Can you tell us a bit about them? Okay, so the last one I went to was somewhere in April and it was uh, in a hotel, the Clarion Hotel, just by the beach. Mm -hmm. And we get to meet, uh, we got to meet a lot of um, companies like IKEA. So, but they were looking for more engineers, but it was nice to hear from um, employers what they're looking out for. Mm -hmm. And the commune tries to do this um, Often, especially for students who are graduating or for students who intend to stay in Sweden, they try to let them know what they are likely to have. Okay, so. fantastic. So there's, I mean, that's really a lot of engagement and opportunity there for international <laughs> students. Yes. Because that's always a question that's on every international student's mind. Where am I going to work afterwards and career outcomes? So that's really good to know. Yeah, you'll be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. And another very, very fun fact about Campus Helsingborg brings us to our next point. Mm. So when you're standing right there in the harbor, if you look across the harbor, you can actually see a different country. Yes. Yeah. 
you can actually see a, a, a country, a different country, mm -hmm. which is just 20 minutes by ferry. Okay. But it has a similar name to Helsingborg. It's called Helsingborg, and okay. it's the Danish city. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Denmark is right there. It's no <laughs> throw away. Exactly. Perfect. And you can take a day trip to Helsingborg. I really recommend because it's such a beautiful city. And from there, if you want to go to uh, Copenhagen on a budget, you can actually... Uh, take the train, which is much cheaper than going through Malmo. Okay. So that is something you can uh, explore with your friends. And there is Hellerod, Hellerop. They are all beautiful cities in Denmark. So if you have some free time on the weekend, you can do that. And the ferry also offer a service called Tura. Okay. Where you just pay for a single ticket and you stay on the ferry and go to and for Denmark and Sweden the whole day. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Is that something that you have done before? Yes, oh, I have okay. a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of... Uh... Okay, so what do you do on the boat going back and forth? Hanging well, out, uh... <laughs> tax free shopping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. That's also a good tip for students on a budget. <laughs> yeah. And yes, random fact that I know about uh, Helsingor is that uh, the famous uh, Shakespeare play Hamlet, Hamlet is yeah. set there. Yes. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> yeah, and the ferry is one of the ferries called uh, Hamlet, actually. Okay, there we go. To be or not to be. And also, I believe you could probably also reach the famous museum quite close by called Louisiana as well. Yes, yeah. I haven't been, but I have okay. heard of it. I can definitely recommend that one. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Okay. And I, yeah, we were also going to talk a little bit about the city being dynamic for students. Yes. We already touched on it a bit, but maybe you can give us... Some more info. Okay, so Helsingborg is actually a young city, but it's very dynamic and there is always something going on as we already talked about. And at the base of this uh, Helsingborg student life is this thing or this called Helsingborgen. Okay, okay. So it's a building right in the center of the city and um, that is where all the student life happens. So okay. if you visit Campus Helsingborg or if you are joining Campus Helsingborg, you should know that there are student associations and organizations that you can join. A very easy way to make friends. Nice. So it's, um, I know Lund is fun, but Helsingborg has its own student life thing happening. Oh, that's what we want to hear. <laughs> and you can easily take the train to Lund if you want to. Well, exactly. Or Malmo. Yeah, anytime. Nice. And I mean, no tour of any campus would be complete without talking a little bit about accommodation yes. as well. And students are always really, really interested to know where they're going to be living, how the standard of uh, accommodation is like. So mm -hmm. whereabouts were you living when you were a student? Um, I was living in an LU accommodation at Porotopsgatan, which was like 10 minutes from campus because I wanted to wake up anytime and go to class. So I lived very <laughs> close by. As and, you do when you're a student. <laughs> <laughs> and it has a studio apartment, so I chose to live in a studio. But about 15 minutes away from campus is also another one, another LU accommodation, which offers like corridor rooms, if a very easy way to make friends and to have people around you if you don't prefer to live alone. And for the EU students, actually, the commune provides student buildings for them. Really? Yes. Oh, stop it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Helsingborg is also. <laughs> nice, nice. And just, just mention it, just on that note, what Nana just mentioned, uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're a non-EU student, you're admitted to Lund University, mm -hmm. you're going to receive something called the Housing Guarantee, yeah. which means that as long as you apply for housing on time through the Alio Accommodation website, you're guaranteed to be given housing by LEO accommodation. It's good to know that that accommodation is 10 minutes away from class. Very cozy, good. <laughs> nice and clean. Nice. And I, you've mentioned a lot about the city and being involved as mm -hmm. a student. I guess there's also like not just related to student life, but I guess there's a lot of bars and restaurants which yes. you, uh, within the city that you can spend time in as well? Yes, there are there are so many. There are so many. Just in the city centre, you can find about 20 to 30 restaurants just around. Okay, nice. Just close to the Shannon. So you should know that if you like to eat out, there is always a place for you. Nice. That's really good to know. And you mentioned Shannon. Yes. I believe in English that's the core. Yes. And that's a, a very popular uh, tourist destination for people visiting Helsingborg. Mm -hmm. What it's is it? It's a, it's a tower. The last time I was here, I called it a bridge or a castle or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a tower. And it has a nice history. I can't go into it right now because you have to come here and find out for yourself. 
<laughs> okay, nice. Although I can say I was in there this summer when my family was visiting. Yes. And it's well worth a visit. So you mm -hmm. can walk all the way up the top and look over the whole city. It's a beautiful view. And there's some really cool uh, video displays in there mm -hmm. and nice interesting history about the history of of Helsingborg and when yeah. this part of Sweden used to actually be part of Denmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there is a very beautiful garden right next to it. So mm -hmm. yeah, you can just have a picnic there with your friends. Nice, so like a city park or? Um, actually, that's not the city park, okay. but it's just a park close to the show and the city park is at the other side. So, okay, yes. nice, nice. Fantastic. Well, Nana, that was a really, really interesting guide through uh, through the campus Helsingborg. Yeah. Was there any other facts that we've missed that you want to talk about today? I know you're a big fan of the city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so you know, there is also a city library uh, okay. that you can, you can use. So in case you don't like the campus library, you can always go there and they're always welcome. You're always welcome there. There are so many books and study areas and it's accessible to Anybody, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can use it. Okay, nice. Yeah. Sounds like you spend some time studying there. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. Nice, <laughs> nice. And now you've graduated yes. and you're still living in Helsingborg. Yes. So it sounds like you like the city so much that you might be open to stay there. Actually, I am. I don't <laughs> think I'm moving a muscle. <laughs> Nice. You're the perfect person to have into the studio and talk about Campus Helsingborg. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in today, Nana. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Lund University International Podcast. If you're interested in learning more about Lund University, you can go to our website, lunduniversity.lu.se. You can also follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can also chat with our current students on Unibuddy. Don't forget to subscribe, and we look forward to bringing you a new episode very soon.